Welcome to a quick video tutorial of the new DriveLa app. I would be walking you through some of the new features which will help make your hosting experience on DriveLa even better. First things first, you can now connect any of your social accounts with DriveLa. With this you can log in on DriveLa via that social account. Make sure your email ID of the social account is the same as the one you used to create your DriveLa account. This is your new home page as a host. We call this the Today Dashboard. This is where we have all your actions for today at one place. Any trips, booking requests or inquiries which require your attention are all at one place. If you scroll down, you will find the latest tips and tricks to maximize your earnings as a host. Next we move to the new inbox powered by filters. The inbox is split into two parts bookings and inquiries. You can use the filters to find messages specific to a car, trip stage or if the message is unread. If you want to look at all upcoming trips, select the filter and it's there. Same for all completed trips. This makes it super easy. The next section is the listing section. Here you will find all your cars listed with DriveLaw. This is your one-stop tab to manage your listings. You can perform three sets of actions here. First is the edit action. Once you press on any listing, you will see all details of your listing which you can edit. For example, if you want to edit the price, simply press update price and it will take you straight to the pricing section. If you want to edit some rules of your listing, then press edit listing, go to the top button which will present you all the information sections. Choose rules. And then make your changes. Press save and it's all done. Second is the manage access action. If you have DriveLog Go technology installed, you will see the Manage Access tab next to your listing once you slide it slightly to your left. Here you can check the location of your car, battery level, and most importantly, you can lock and unlock your car straight from your phone. Remember if the car is on a DriveLog trip, then you won't be able to do this so as to ensure privacy of the guest who has rented your car. Third is the Calendar section. You can manage your listing's calendar by simply pressing on Manage Calendar. Alternatively, you can also access the calendar directly from the calendar tab. On the calendar tab, you can see all your listings. Selecting a listing would open its calendar. This is a monthly view of your calendar. Here you can see which days have bookings, which days are fully blocked and which days are partially blocked. Let's say you click on a day with a booking. You will see the name of the guest and the timings of the booking. Clicking on this will take you to the trip page of that booking. You may want to block a full day which you can simply do by clicking any day and choosing the option of block entire day. In case you wish to block only a few hours, then you can easily do that by selecting block few hours. It is important to note the impact of blocking your car for a few hours. Let's say you block your car for a few hours on the 10th of April. Then anyone searching for a trip from April 10th in the morning to April 11th will not be able to find your car as your car is not available for a few hours on April 10th. So it is important for you to be careful while using the hourly block function. You can access additional availability settings by pressing the icon on the top right. These settings are designed to make calendar management easier. For example, you can choose to block dates in bulk. Just specify the start and end date time. If you have a reasonably predictable weekly schedule, you can choose to set particular days as blocked or available. For example, blocking a Tuesday would block all the Tuesdays in your calendar. Next you can choose to allow hourly rental for your car. This means your car would be open to bookings for less than 12 hours. We highly recommend it given that this increases chances of getting more bookings for your car. Finally notice hours is the your desired time gap between when someone sends a booking request and their intended time of pickup. By default this value is set to 2 hours. 
We recommend setting this as least as possible to get more bookings. You can access your own profile section by clicking your picture on the top right. Here you can access details such as payout information, notifications, referral program, credits. In case you want to rent a car, simply slide up the switch to renting tab. Do ensure you update your app to the latest version. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our team via the contact us tab in your profile section.